Hello guys, welcome to the next JavaFX SQLite database tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can hide our first window when we open the second window. So for example, we have our login uh, window here and when I log in and login is successful, it's going to open the second window. But the first window, which is the login window is not hidden. So I want to hide this and then open this. And we will also see how can we create a sign out button so that when we press this sign out button is going to open our login window once again. So let's get started. First of all, what I'm going to uh, do is I'm going to go to my user controller dot Java class, which I have created in the last video. Okay, this is the user window. Once a uh, user logs in, then this is the controller for the user.fxml file, right? Now in here, I'm going to create a method for the button click event. Okay, so I will uh, name my method as for example, sign out method. Okay, so sign out. Okay, and it takes one argument which is action event. So just add action event and give the name to your event here. And then what it does, it's going to just open the last window, right? But first of all, we need to hide our login window. So go to your login controller.java class. And this is the method which we are using on the successful uh, login and password, right? And we are opening from here the new uh, window, which is user window using this code. So go inside this method and inside this if condition, just above the declaration of your stage, what we are going to do here is just write node and this is Java FX scene node. Okay, so this will uh, show the error. So first of all, import this uh, Java FX dot scene dot node. Okay, so just imports Java FX dot scene dot node. And now enclose this node inside these brackets, and then call this argument called event here, and then call get source. And then once again, and close this code inside the brackets here. And then call a method called dot get scene. So just call this get scene here. And then call a method called get window here. And then you have your window so you can hide it. So you can call a method called hide here. Okay, so this is the code to hide your stage. Okay, and now uh, let's uh, run our code and let's see if uh, this login window is hidden using this code or not. So I'm going to save everything and run my code. And I'm going to give my username test and password test and I will click login. And now you can see this login window is hidden, right? Now we want to do the same for the user window, right? So we want to create a button which we can click and we can go to the login window. So for that, we have created uh, this uh, user controller dot Java and in here we have the sign out method, which I have created just a moment ago. So in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my login controller dot Java class, and I will copy all this code from here. Right? So this is the same code which I'm going to use to, uh, you know, open the login window. Okay, so just uh, use this code from node to the end of your stage show. Okay, so copy it. And now go to your user controller and go to your uh, sign out method and paste it there. And it's going to uh, show this error, we want to remove this user controller, you know, declaration from here, because we are not passing any, uh, you know, uh, parameter from one window to another. So just remove uh, this user controller uh, definition here. And we will also remove this uh, call of the function, which was get user, which we have created in the last video. So now this is your code. Okay. Now in here, we want to uh, call the login dot file from the user, right? So just call 
login.fxml file and this code throws some error so you need to enclose your code inside a try catch block so just add a try catch block here and inside your try catch block just enclose this code so so just paste it here okay and your error will go okay so just write this code here and now one thing remains is we need to add a button to our user.fxml file so just open your user.fxml file using scene builder and once your uh, user.fxml file is open first of all what we are going to do is because it's a border pane which we have used in the last video and uh, in the last video if you remember we added this label so what we are going to do first here is we will right click on our label from here and then we will wrap it in the H box so just go wrap in and then choose H box okay so it's going to uh, wrap your uh, label in a horizontal box and now take a button and place it inside your horizontal box here okay and now what we are going to do is we are going to name our button as for example sign out right and then go to code here and in here on action we are going to uh, give the sign out method which we have created right this is the sign out method which we have created now save your code and then go to your eclipse ide and then refresh your uh, project once again so refresh it and now you are ready to go so just run your uh, project and it opens my login window so I will give my username and password for example test and test and when I click login it opens my user window and login window is hidden and when I click sign out it opens my login window and user window is hidden right so in this way you can create a sign out button and hide one bin window when you open the second window. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and 